We are still tracking Debbie. The remnants of the storm now taking aim at the northeast after leaving a trail of destruction across the south. And taking a live look outside where it's another hot day here in South Florida with the 30th heat advisory of the year issued for our area. But looks like we've got some rain. The heat, though, it will be sticking around for the weekend as well. So you've been warned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's your Weather Authority meteorologist Brandon Orr. And Brandon, we've seen from our cameras out there, it's pretty wet in Hollywood. Yeah, I think we've seen the hottest part of the day so far. The okay, clouds, okay. the rain helping us out a little bit today. So you can already see some of the storms that have moved in. It will take our temperatures down a little bit, and you can feel the difference out there. I know 95 isn't a great heat index, but it's a lot lower than some other places like Kendall at 106. So where we have seen some rain, we have seen some cool air. So heat advisory does continue through six o'clock. Don't be surprised if you see this extended into the weekend. It looks like we have some more hot days ahead and we have a few storms ahead too. We got some already developing, especially right there along the coast. Lots of lightning with this one over in Fort Lauderdale, by the way, near Hollywood, and that's going to be one of the features of the storms today. They'll contain frequent lightning strikes. Could get some gusty winds and some brief heavy rainfall with some of this, and you can see they meander around through the rest of the afternoon, even into the evening commute. We'll have a couple showers and thunderstorms around. You got Friday night plans. I think we'll see these slowly trend down as we get into the evening, and I think we'll be okay for evening plans. Let's talk about the tropics, including Debbie, which is pretty much no more. It's no longer tropical. We can almost call it remnants at this point. But even though this is a weaker system, the rain that is left over is still packing a punch, especially through Pennsylvania, where there's a tornado threat in the next few hours. We've seen some of these trees that have been down. This is Potomac, Maryland, of a tree down on a house. We've seen a ton of that back in North Carolina. It shows us that even remnants of a tropical system can still have really big impacts, even storm surge impacts. This is Annapolis, Maryland. Storm surge from the wind pushing all that water up the Chesapeake Bay. It has nowhere else to go but inland. I'm going into some of the homes and businesses there. So they're feeling some impacts from that today. One other area in the tropics with a likely 60% chance of development. This is likely to become our next tropical depression. Next name on the list is Ernesto moving towards the Leeward Islands. That's going to be early next week. We got plenty of time to watch this. Our computer model suggesting anything from a continuation of this to the west to a curve north of Puerto Rico out into the open Atlantic. Too soon to tell until we get a closed circulation to track. So lots of time to keep an eye on it. You'll hear more from us about this as we go into the weekend. I'll focus on that weekend forecast coming up. The death toll continues to rise as what's left of Tropical Storm Debbie travels to eastern seaboard. The at least eight people are dead, including a North Carolina woman who was killed when a tree fell onto her home and residents in Monk's Corner, South Carolina. They are dealing with major flooding after heavy downpours. Officials are urging people to stay off roads and never to drive through flood waters as fast moving water spills over numerous roads. And in Maryland, the city of Annapolis was also hit with major flooding as Debbie pushed through today. Debbie is set to bring dangerous flash flooding and the threat of tornadoes in the mid-Atlantic and northeastern states.